Yet in pre-fertilization events, we have studied the gametogenesis and in gametogenesis we have studied the isogametes and the heterogametes. We have also studied the type of cell division which occur during gameto, uh, gamete formation and today we are starting with the sexuality in organisms. It is the most 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 important section of this chapter reproduction in organism and especially the most important thing what we are studying in the pre-fertilization event that is the events which occur before fertilization is the sexuality in organism and here you have to understand a lot of the terminologies and uh, you must be very much clear about these terminologies because all these terminologies will come in the further uh, topics which we will be studying in this chapter as well as in the chapter 3 uh, that is the human reproduction okay so very first we will be talking the sexuality in organisms in lower organisms lower organisms means which are primitive organisms so in most of the lower primitive sexually producing organism the two fusing gametes are morphologically similar i am repeating once again in most of the lower in most of the lower primitive sexually producing organism the two fusing gametes are morphologically similar okay the two fusing gametes are morphologically similar and if these gametes belong to the same parent try to understand it if the two fusing gametes which are morphologically similar which are morphologically similar belongs to the same parent belong to the same parent then such organisms are called as homothelic then such organisms are called as homothelic homothelic can also be called it as a bisexual condition or a monoecious condition why monoecious condition mono, mono means one means same parent again i am repeating if the gametes belong to the same parent if the gametes belong to the same parent then the organisms are called as homothelic or we can use the term bisexual condition or monoecious condition the best example is of a fungi known as a mucor micido and when the gametes when the fusing gametes when the fusing gametes belong to different parents when the fusing gametes belong to different parents then these organisms are called as heterothelic or unisexual condition or dioecious condition why dioecious die means two two means here two different parents okay so it is clear again i am repeating in lower organisms right in most of the lower primitive sexually replacing organisms the two fusing gametes are morphologically similar they are exactly identical now if these two gametes if these two gametes belongs to the same parent then such organisms are called as homothelic or bisexual or monoecious condition can be used the best example is mucor micido and when these fusing gametes when these fusing gametes belong to two different parents then the organisms are called as then the organisms are called as heterothelic or unisexual condition can be used or dioecious condition can be used the best example is rhizopus stolonifer the best example is rhizopus stolonifer it is also a fungi so uh, we know very well that these all fungi comes in the lower organisms okay now let's talk about the higher organisms higher organisms will be studying in plants as well as will be studying in the animals in higher organisms means in higher plants first of all we are taking an example of plant then we'll be taking an example of the animals in higher plants well developed sex organs are present we know very well all the higher plants are having well developed sex organs and uh, higher plants i want to say here i want to talk about the uh, that is known as the angiosperms flowering plants okay angiosperm the most advanced type of the plants are angiosperms so we know very well that in angiosperm the male sex organ in the flower in the flowering plants the male sex organ in the flower is known as the stamen and the female sex organ in a flower is called as carpal or pistil you can use the term carpal you can use the term pistil now try to understand it now the terminologies are very very important if male and female sex organs are present in the same flower say for if this is the flower if this is the flower and if it consists of male as well as female if male and female sex organs are present in the same flower 
means i want to say that male sex organ stamen and female sex organ carpel when present in the same flower then these plants are called as bisexual then these plants are called as a bisexual flower is called as the bisexual or the plant is called as bisexual if the flowers possess only the stamen or the carpel if the flower possess only the stamen or the carpel either stamen or carpel then these are called as unisexual uni means one they are having only one sex organ either the male sex organ or the female sex organ again again i am repeating if the male and the female sex organs are present in the same flower then these are called as bisexual when the flowers present only stamen or carpel either stamen or carpel then these are called as what unisexual okay now here we are telling that these plants are called as bisexual and these plants are called as unisexual now unisexual male flower is staminate the unisexual male flower unisexual flower is only having one sex now if that unisexual flower is having the stamen bearing stamen then it is called as staminate and if the unisexual flower is bearing the pistil or the carpel then the flower is called as pistillate so it is very simple a staminate flower is a flower a staminate flower is a unisexual flower which bears stamens and pistillate flower is a unisexual flower which bears the pistil okay now there is a term known as the monoecious and dioecious at least 10 to 12 times the question is asked in the neat what is a monoecious plant now mono means single mono means one di means two different so both male and female flowers are born on the same plant when both male and female flowers when both male and the female flowers are born on the same plant monoecious means one same when both male and female flowers are born on the same plant then the plant is called as monoecious the example is cucurbita coconut maize and pinus again i am repeating when both the male and the female flowers are present on the same plant right then the plant is called as monoecious examples are cucurbit coconut maize pinus all are monoecious plant now what is dioecious dioecious means two different plants when male and female flowers are present on different plants one plant is bearing the one plant is bearing the male and another is bearing the female flowers then that plant is called as a dioecious plant again i am repeating what is a dioecious plant dioecious means two male and female flowers are present on two different plants the best example is date palm and papaya so you have to remember the example date palm and papaya are dioecious plant and the cucurbits coconuts maize and pinus are the monoecious plant clear now let's talk about some uh, more plants kara if you have heard about kara very very important in ncert also the example is quoted kara is the green algae it is a monoecious plant it is a monoecious plant it is a monoecious plant okay kara is a monoecious plant now what is a monoecious plant which bear both male and female uh, reproductive organs okay so kara is a monoecious plant why because it bear both male and female sex organs the male organ is called as the antheridium and the female sex organ is called as the ugonium say for i have drawn a diagram of a kara which is a green algae which is a monoecious plant which is a monoecious plant now in this monoecious plant you can see that antheridium is present at the below portion and ugonium is present at the above portion ugonium is the female reproductive organ and antheridium is the male reproductive organ is it clear so kara is a monoecious plant now coming to markensia again this example is given in your ncert markensia is a liverwort what are liverworts liverworts are bryophytes so here dioecious plant markensia is a very good example of dioecious dioecious means two so you can see here i have made two thallus female thallus and male thallus female thallus and male thallus we know very well the plant body of the bryophytes is thall thalloid they are having thallus so this is female thallus this is male thallus now female thallus bear archegoniophore this stalk is called as archegoniophore and archegoniophore bear archegonia this is archegonia and this is another thallus known as the male thallus which bear anthidiophore and anthidiophore bear anthidia it means we can see here that the male and the female sex organs are found on two different parents so female plant have archegonia on archegoniophore male plant has anthidia on archegoniophore 
means male and female sex organs are formed separately on the different thaluses. Hence, we can say that Marchensia is a dioecious plant. So, this is the diagram indicating the Marchensia, which is a dioecious plant, and this is the diagram indicating the Cara, which is a monoecious plant. Clear? Now, because we were talking about the higher organism, so in higher organism there are plants also as well as there are animals also. So animals that possess both male and female reproductive organs. Now the same terminologies can be used for the animals also. There are certain animals which possess both male and female reproductive organs in them. Means the single individual is having both male and female sex organ. Say for testes and ovaries are present in the same individual. Then we can use the term hermaphrodite if you have heard about earthworm, leech, tapworm, all are hermaphrodite. So they are hermaphrodite, a term can be used known as the hermaphrodite or the bisexual or the monoecious. Mono means one again. So monoecious means what? One single organism is bearing both the reproductive organ. Tapworm, leech and earthworm are the best examples of the hermaphrodite or the bisexual or the monoecious animals. But there are animals including the human beings. Animals with distinct male and female reproductive organs means male have male reproductive organs, female have female reproductive organs. So in them the male and the female organs are separately present. Okay, because sexual dimorphism is found. So th this condition is called as unisexual or dioecious. Unisexual or dioecious. Why die? Di means two different individuals are having different type of the sex organ. Say for cockroach, mammals, all the mammals, ascaris, etc. Okay, so this is all about. Uh, the sexuality in organism which we study in pre-fertilization event yet we have studied the gametogenesis isogametes heterogametes we have studied which type of the cell division occurred during the uh, gamete formation and today we have studied the sexuality in organism which is very very important so thanks a lot for watching me in the next uh, uh, video we'll be discussing some more events okay because uh, uh, we are studying the events in sexual reproduction. So we'll be coming soon with new events. Thanks a lot for watching me.